is the uh, one of the chemistry laboratory experiment uh, is a salt analysis. In our chemistry laboratory, salt analysis carries uh, 10 months. Salt analysis it includes uh, four steps. Uh, the first one is a uh, preliminary test, the second one is a uh, detection of acid radical, the third one is a uh, detection of a uh, basic radical, the fourth one is a uh, report of salt. That means in salt analysis, we have to identify the acid radical, nothing but anion present in given salt, and we have to detect the basic radical, nothing but cation present in a given salt. Finally, we have to report the, the given salt contains uh, the cation is this one and uh, anion is this one, hence the given salt is uh, uh, the, uh, some sodium uh, ammonium chloride, uh, ammonium bromide, like that. We have to report the, the given salt. Okay. This is salt analysis, in that salt analysis, preliminary test will carry one mass, detection of acid radical and detection of basic radical. Detection of acid radical it includes 5 months and detection of basic radical 4 and 4 plus 1 mass per report. That means total salt analysis it includes 10 months for our second QC laboratory exam. Right. We have to follow these 4 steps. In the beginning, I would like to analyze one salt. Okay, this is the salt uh, 1. In the beginning, uh, the Roman letter 1, uh, preliminary test. Uh, in the preliminary test, uh, we have to say the state of uh, the given salt. See that uh, this salt is in a crystalline state. We have to observe whether the salt is crystalline state or it is in amorphous state. That we have to observe. This The given salt is in crystalline state. Therefore, we have to report uh, the state uh, crystalline. P color, we have to observe the color of salt. This color is uh, white in color, that we have to say colorless uh, solid or colorless salt. The third one, we have to observe uh, the solubility of a given salt, uh, that we have to take uh, the 0 0.1 gram, that means uh, the little amount of a salt in a test tube, then we have to add water to the test tube so that we can observe the solubility. Yes, the given salt is uh, soluble in water. That we have to report uh, the given salt is soluble in uh, water. In general, all the crystalline solids they are soluble in uh, water. Then this completes uh, the preliminary test. Now I would like to start uh, the detection of acid radical. Nothing but anion. Anions they will carry negative charge. Uh, uh, in the beginning, uh, we already learned about uh, that uh, the, there are three types, three groups in acid radical. First group acid radical, second group acid radical, and the third group acid radicals. In first group acid radical, carbonate ion is present, and second group acid radical, chloride, bromide, and the nitrate anions are present. In third group, sulfate ion is present. First, I would like to start the detection of acid radical. In that, the first one is a detection of first group acid radical. I am going to conduct the test for first group acid radical. Salt plus a dilute HCl or HCl4. Right, I will add a dilute HCl to the test tube. Okay. See here, there is no effervescence or a, there is no fumes or evolve. If there is no brisk effervescence, then the first group acid radical absent. That we have to report. When we add salt and dilute HCl, if there is no brisk effervescence, the first group acid radical are absent. That means carbonate is absent. Come to the second group. That means in second group, in experiment column, salt in a dry test tube plus a concentrated H2SO4. If we add a concentrated H2SO4 to a test tube, uh, then we observe a colorless, odorless gas which gives a dense white fumes with a glass rod dipped in a ammonium hydroxide. If we observe a dense white fumes like this, uh, then it indicates uh, the presence of chloride ion in given salt. Then we have to conduct a confirmation test. If chloride ion is present, means uh, then we have to conduct a confirmation test. Then, uh, uh, so this, uh, in given salt, uh, we have observed that uh, the chloride ion is present, then we have to conduct uh, the confirmation test for chloride ion. Right? Now, confirmation test is the group reagent present in the confirmation confirmation test. Now, we can see that a colorless pungent smelling gas which gives a dense white film is ammonium hydroxide and the bandha immediately the confirmation test. That means it confirms the presence of chloride ion. Chloride ion is a confirmation test.
Okay, what is the confirmation test for chloride ion? We know that the confirmation test for chloride ion is a silver nitrate test. That means we have to prepare a salt solution. Salt solution is prepared by using water because the given salt is soluble in water. Hence, I will prepare an original solution or salt solution by using water. To this water, we have to add silver nitrate solution. Salt solution plus silver nitrate solution. When we add salt solution and a silver nitrate solution, if we observe a curdy white precipitate, which is soluble in excess of NH4OH, then the given salt it contains chloride ion. This confirms the presence of chloride ion in a given salt. Then that means he can put it in the salt, only put it in the salt, then from a yaw ion, then from my chloride ion. This completes the detection of acid ions. Then we have to move on to the detection of basic radical. In basic radical, we observe a 6 group and a 1 0. In the beginning, we have to conduct a test for 0 group cation. In 0 group, ammonium ion is present. For that, we have to conduct a group reagent test. That means we have to take a salt in experiment column. Salt plus dilute anion. We have to heat, we have to boil the solution of salt plus NaOH. Then we have to absorb the smell of ammonia. If it the ammonia smell came in, the given salt it contains ammonium ion. Yes, I observed that the smell of ammonia is a formula. Else, this smell of ammonia indicates that the given salt contains ammonium ion. Right. Then now we have to conduct a confirmation test for ammonium ion. Come to the confirmation test for ammonium ion. What the confirmation test means? The Nestler's reagent test. Okay. In Nestler's reagent test, we know that we have to take salt solution. Again, a little bit salt because the salt solution is prepared by using water because the given salt is soluble in water. Right. To this salt solution, we have to add Nestler's reagent. To this salt solution, we have to add Nestler's reagent. If brown precipitate is formed, means the given salt it confirmly contains ammonium ion. This is the confirmation test for ammonium ion. Hence, in a given salt, the acid radical is chloride ion and the basic radical is ammonium ion and the given salt is ammonium chloride. Come to the salt number 2. The same procedure repeats. That means we have to follow the same steps. The Roman letter 1 preliminary test, Roman letter 2 detection of acid radical, Roman letter 3 detection of basic radical and the fourth one is report of salt. In the beginning, the second salt, this is the second salt, and that we observe the Roman letter 1, the preliminary test, I observe the stain, it is a crystalline solid, the color, it is a colorless solid, and solubility, yeah, I would like to check the solubility of the salt, a little bit salt on the test table towards the way, we can watch and add my solubility check mark to the way, yes, the given salt is soluble in water, and this is, this completes the preliminary test, move on to the Detection of acid radical. In that first one, detection of first group acid radical. For first group acid radical, salt plus a dilute HCl or H2SO4. Okay, I will add the dilute HCl. See here, there is no reaction. That means there is no brisk effervescence. If there is no brisk effervescence, means uh, the first group acid radicals are absent. Then move on to the second group. Come to the second group. For second group, we know that in experiment column, salts in a dry test tube, salt in a dry test tube, plus the concentrated H2SO4. Salt in a dry test tube plus concentrated H2SO4 add mandaga. After chloride, though, we have the brisk fumes which gives a dense white fumes with the ammonium hydroxide the color. If, he, if the fumes are in the beginning they are white fumes followed by reddish brown fumes 
it confirms the presence of bromide ion. Here is the test tube pure the reddish brown fumes one from the ramp. What is the other side of the bromide ion present in the other side of the ramp? Right. This bromide ion present in the other side of the ramp. Confirmation is for bromide ion. Right. What is the confirmation is for bromide ion? It is the same. Silver nitrate test. Where the hint effect must be silver nitrate test. As usual, salt solution is ready for We have to take a salt solution. To the salt solution, salt solution, solution is prepared by using water because the given salt is soluble in water. To the salt solution, we have to add silver nitrate. Silver nitrate is added. The other chloride is added. A curvy white precipitate is made. This is a bromide. It is a pale yellow color. In fact, it seems to be a pale yellow color and which is sparingly soluble in NH4OH. In this case, it is a bromide ion. It confirms the bromide ion. That is the second salt. The second salt is a bromide ion. This is a bromide acid radical complete. Then move on to the detection of basic radical. Same procedure. For the detection of basic radical, we have to start the experiment from zero group itself. For zero group, detection of zero group cation, salt plus NaOH. Salt plus NaOH. Smell of ammonia but the absorbed to zero group and then put land. Smell of ammonia now heat money absorbed. Heat body, smell of ammonia, but they check mana. Yes, sir. I feel the smell of ammonia. Smell of ammonia, but they are there. Put it in the country salt. Confirm. It indicates the presence of ammonium ion. Again, this salt is ammonium ion. Presence is there. This smell of ammonia is confirmed. The glass ran dipped in a concentrated NCL. Test tube mouth. They are there. They are there. They are there. It indicates the presence of ammonium ion in given salt. Then, even if the ammonium ion presence is there, then we have to conduct the confirmation test. In what way we have ammonium ion, we have confirmation test. We have to conduct the same as usual. Salt solution, we have to prepare salt solution by using water. We have to prepare salt solution by using water. This is salt solution. By using water and salt solution, we have to add less plus reagent. We have to connect it with brown precipitate. We have to connect it with brown precipitate. We have to connect it with ammonium. We have to connect it with brown precipitate. We have to connect it with brown precipitate. We have to connect it with brown precipitate. The presence of ammonium ion, the confirmation of ammonium ion in a given salt. Hence, in second salt, the acid radical is bromide ion and the basic radical is ammonium ion. Hence, the given salt is ammonium bromide.